Henderson from Wattle TV and today I've been invited back to the flat of Oxford's all-male a cappella group, Out of the Blue. Hi, Hi. Boys, Hi. thank you for joining me. So the group has been running for 11 years. You've uh, been crowned UK champions of a cappella three times. You've had nine albums and you got to the semi-finals of Britain's Got Talent. But what we really want to know is, does this work well with the ladies? <laughs> so, uh, I didn't know all of those stats. That was actually really yeah. impressive. That's, and it's useful to know. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Do you ever sell that to the girls? I'm an out of the blue, you know? <laughs> it's not really something. It's, I can't, I can't it's not, it's it not something you tend to open well. with. Uh, yeah. A cappella is slightly nerdy, <laughs> uh, to say the least. And so I don't think it has the same effect of being like, hi, yeah. I play for England. <laughs> it's, it's high. So you've never serenaded anyone with the band or anything? No, can't remember doing that. I don't think we have. No. Although now maybe we should. Yeah. yeah we'll give it a go. We'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. Sure, it'll be fine. <laughs> so you perform really well as a group. You're all very talented. You've got different voices. How do you decide who takes the solo for each group? Uh, so song? every every song obviously is very different. So different solos so appropriate. So anyone that wants to go for the solo can audition in front of the rest of the group okay. and then it's just the decision among the other members of the group. Who so it's quite a fair process. Out. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And um, if you're all so talented individually and you can sing your solos, why don't you split up and go hog the glory for yourself? <laughs> well, I think that the reason why we enjoy it so much is because in the end the best thing about being in the group is that you're singing with your mates yeah. and like and there's no other, there's no replacement for that than like when we get up in the morning we all gather in this room yeah. at that and we rehearse at so about 9.30 yeah, the talk. yeah we yeah. Big, <laughs> big cycle but uh, at about 9.30 we'll all sort of have a big rehearsal and just it's so enjoyable to be with your friends who you're living with, you spent the uni, you've gone out with you've toured with, yeah. seen on the street with I mean I can't imagine going away Doing and not having yourself. this sort of group yeah. and it's a really nice number to have 15, it's a really great number of people to have sort of as a team going around, it's, it's really exciting, I, I wouldn't want to yeah. And while we're performing, a lot of the energy that we get is from each other, mm -hmm. yeah. so we can interact with each other, and it's all just yeah. it's really great. Yeah, each other. That's great. So, um, how do you learn the sounds to the background music, like when you're performing? Because surely that's quite hard to get. You know, being a cappella, it's quite hard to get it to sound exactly like the song. Um, well, I think that um, so the arrangements we write our own arrangements. Mm -hmm. um, so various people in the group can write one if they like. And so some arrangements are designed to sound like the original and sort of sound like instruments. And yeah. some are just interpretations which requires to be singers as opposed to copying instruments. And the way that we, we do it is that the, in terms of the learning process is um, so we have some, some of us are better at reading music, some of us are not so good at reading yeah. music. So we have um, the music set around and we learn it there or we have uh, MIDI tracks which are like these electronic sort of um, what our parts should be and you can listen oh, okay. to them and learn them that way. Yeah. But also a lot of our song, so if you take any particular song, yeah. it will develop in a rehearsal. Like someone will try something a bit silly or something yeah. and like as a joke. But an extra and then, exactly. Yeah. And someone will be like, actually that sounds really good, let's yeah. keep it. Although I see a lot of the times like, that sounds terrible. Yeah, <laughs> not doing that. Yeah. And that's uh, a lot of we, lot of what we do, like and what what originally we start with is often very different to the end product. Yeah. So who choreographs all your slick moves? Do you get um, any inspiration from Glee or uh, anything <laughs> like that? No, the uh, the choreo is all done by our musical director who does most of our arrangements as well. Okay. Um, he everyone can kind of get their own little input for it, but in the end it's it's his <coughs> call, so anything yeah. musical or movement wise he gets to choose. Really? So um You've toured around the UK, Scandinavia, the USA, you've performed in front of Michael McIntyre, The Hawk. Yeah. Who's, um, <laughs> who's the coolest person you'd say that you've met so far? Uh, well, Michael McIntyre was pretty great. Yeah. Tried, tried to get him to come out clubbing with us. Oh, really? And we got really close. Yeah. In the end, he decided that he wouldn't, which was a shame. Yeah. Jimmy Carr was quite funny. Yeah. He came up to us after, we did a, a three song set, and happened to be that the, the songs we'd chosen were quite camp ones. And so he came up to us afterwards. <laughs> exactly. So he came up to us and he goes, guys, I was wondering if you could be a bit more camp and you uh, did please. It was really, he's, a, he's quite a funny guy. Yeah. But he's, um, that he, unlike, unlike that, that's, that's kind of, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of his job. A bad example. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah. um, but so he was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, Michael McIntyre was really cool. Yeah, he's really funny here. Yeah. And um, so what we're all obviously wondering, do you think you'll try again for Britain's Got Talent? I don't, I'm not really sure, I wasn't, neither of us were actually in the group yeah, while they were in the group, so yeah, we, we don't really know what, like, 
what really went on that year while yeah. we were doing it. But I think, I think it, I'm not sure would it. I think. Again? What's great about the group is that because um, there's such a big turnover each year, in, there tend to be about maybe four, five, six guys will stay on from one year to the next because yeah. it's quite a big time commitment. Yeah. So it means that each year starts in October and that year has its own identity so it can go whatever path it chooses to go. Yeah. So it's hard to say now what next year's group will choose to do. But I think in terms of the Britain's Got Talent thing, really serves it put its purpose in that what we were looking for was to get university a cappella out there yeah and like so really try and exactly yeah. because it's it's quite untapped over in america university a cappella is like a really big thing they, oh, they right, get okay. so excited about it yeah. um whereas over here it's much smaller and so the main point of britain's got talent as far as we were concerned was like look uh, there are groups like this around yeah. the country go to it go to if you go to university get involved in them set your own ones up yeah. and like we know of a few groups which have been set up off the back of that yeah and so that's sort of what we really wanted to do. So in a way, you could say it served its purpose, but you don't know what new group in October will want to do. Yeah, and what they'll want to do. Thing could form front of the queen. That is kind of great. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, as well. that'd be pretty good. But, um, you queen, if you're watching this, yeah. <laughs> give us a ring. <laughs> so you've got a new album out at the moment. Yep. Yes. Yep. Do you have Ooh. that with you? Oh, just by chance. Yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, music up, uh, which uh, just came out this week. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, we recorded it over over the course of the year. It's got uh, eleven tracks, uh, and yeah, it's really exciting to hear. We so got to, you, oh, sorry. We got to record some during the time we're in California mm -hmm. as well. There's oh, a guy okay. called Bill Hare who wow. has uh, he's worked with some of the Glee stuff. Is that right? Yeah, yeah and the guy who did um, the uh, some of the mixes also is a, it works with the Warblers of Glee. So it was really cool to be yeah. sort of like yeah, meet with someone them. like that. They yeah. were great. They were so amazing. They really, were really exciting. Yeah. yeah, that's brilliant. So do you release one every time you come to the fringe? Yeah. Um, so we basically pretty much every year manage to yeah. get a studio album out um, with sort of that year's songs in it and that year's yeah. people on it. It's just a really nice way of having something tangible. Yeah. No to keep kind of. to keep for the year. So um, yeah. yeah, and we have some live. We often do live CDs and stuff as well. So. And it's also on iTunes. Also nice. available on oh, that. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you so much. Out of the Blue will be performing between the 1st and the 27th of August, apart from the 15th. That's right. Yes, at the Assembly on George Square.